morning, ladies and gentlemen. Like every video ever, uh, I need to say something before it starts. Number one, myself and some other community leads partnering up with Silk Road to create the link in the description, which is the first ever place for competitive PvP tournaments. I keep preaching this. If we can get a competitive system flowing and working efficiently and we get tournaments going on a regular basis that are, you know, well tracked and well done, this game will do very, very good and we can build a competitive scene and have a lot of fun and a lot of success with Pokemon Go. Success is in the game's going to die a lot slower because <laughs> competitive scenes really hold interest in games and really build games. So PvP for Pokemon Go coming up very soon here. We've got a competitive system building. Link in the description. Check it out. Sign up. Let's get going. Also, due to my timing today and the amount of things I have to get done today, the story of the week will not be shared during today's video, but it will be shared on Discord. So if you guys want to see the story of the week, which was about relationships, click the link in the description for the Discord, join the Discord, and then we'll be talking about positivity for this next week. The value in having positivity or positive thinking or going about your failures or negative things that happen in your life in a positive way way or positive light. So if you guys have a great story about that or something you want to share or some advice or you want to get some advice, join the Discord, join that chat, talk. And I will definitely be popping in and sharing too because that's uh, that's a big part of my life is turning negatives into positives and kind of just rolling with stuff. So yes, that's happening right now. Again, sorry I couldn't share the story of the week, but enjoy today's video where we talk about all the stuff in PvP that you didn't see in the official announcement along with some gameplay of PvP. Enjoy. Me again, but on the phone this time because I don't have time to record this on camera. Uh, starting tomorrow, I'm taking like a four day or five day break from uploading videos. This is like my winter Christmas vacation. I'm going to Cabo with my, I, I talked about the video. I, I don't want to leave for too long. So like I shortened my trip and then we'll be back soon. And then hopefully PVP will not have dropped by then. But yeah, I'm taking a little bit of a break from uploads after this video is uploaded. So I'm not dead. I'll be live on social media. But I just wanted to make sure you guys knew. Enjoy the video. Good morning. It is Yesterday was today, this morning was the PvP announcement. Now we had the PvP video go up, which was great, showed a lot about PvP, but there's some more details and some uh, interesting little videos that show some uh, sneak peeks into some uh, cool stuff probably coming pretty soon here to Pokemon Go. So we have more stuff that I wanted to go over and show you guys today. And today, busy day as always, very busy week. Now as much as I want to go to Santa Monica for the entire day and grind and talk about this like we usually do, we're gonna go to Santa Monica for like a tiny bit because I have to go buy AirPods because mine don't work that well anymore. But yes, we do have a lot of information to show today regarding PVP in Pokemon Go. Remember, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the PVP system? And would you guys be interested in a competitive system created for the PVP system that you could watch and or participate in online? And uh, yeah, PVP and Soundproofing hype. First stop of the day, Chase Bank, because I'm actually starting uh, starting investing, which is kind of cool. Dear everyone who's watching this video, save money and then invest it and then save more and then invest more. In game, coming soon, show your battle skills with Pokemon Go trainer battles. Now, funny thing is in the official announcement for Pokemon Go, what we covered in the video yesterday, there was a lot of information that wasn't included in the official announcement, which surprised myself and some others because some of this information is Pretty relevant, and the fact that they didn't announce it officially with all the other stuff is kind of surprising to me. So, we're gonna talk about all the stuff that they didn't talk about today, or they didn't talk about yesterday, today. But yeah, on the topic of investing, really quickly, uh, do it, <laughs> get into it. I've been watching a lot of podcasts, a lot of videos, reading some books. I'd recommend uh, Richest Man in Babylon and Invested. Invested's kind of a hard read. Richest Man in Babylon is a very, very fun book with a great narrative talking about the power of making your money work for you. So, I'm kind of like trying to get into that now. And I figure if I go in at 21 years old with an okay amount of money, by the time I'm like, you know, like old ish, like six. My investment account should be able to supply a couple lifetimes worth of chilling uh, from you know 60 on so <laughs> that's the idea at least I'm gonna do like a SEP IRA account which basically means that I can't take the I can put the money in and invest it but I can't touch it or take it out until like I'm like 65 so that's gonna control me in the sense of I cannot take the money out and spend it on something stupid instead of investing so once the money's in there it's locked in which is you know money management learn that too it's important and then also I can be you know pretty risky with it since I'm only 21 so we can make a lot of money by the time I'm 65 just by investing which is exciting but obviously that's not what we're talking about today we're talking about pokemon go pvp i have to stop at one more bank before we can go sit down do some raids get some ramen and uh talk more in detail about what we missed <laughs> In 
we are back in one of our favorite little raid spots here, the Santa Monica Pier Aquarium. And actually at the aquarium, there's a Shinx raid, which is, oh, I'm actually really happy to see this. There also is a Chris Shaley raid going up, which we'll talk about more stuff during, but I was just really happy to see a, a Shinx raid. And funny enough, this is like gonna be one of our only days here in Santa Monica, unfortunately. Because tomorrow I'm running around everywhere. Thursday we actually leave for combo. Let's talk about that really quick on the channel before we talk about all the other important stuff. We're gonna use the M7 Blaster and Charizard that will go over most likely to Pokemon Let's Go. Now, basically I'm taking a little mini vacation per se. I'm going to Cabo with my dad and my stepmom. They go every year, so I'm gonna pop in for literally flying in on Thursday, hanging out Friday, flying out Saturday. I had to shorten my trip by one day. It was already a short trip because as much as I wanna go hang out in Cabo, there's a lot of things going on right now. We've got PvP coming very soon here, which again, we're gonna cover some details for today. And then doing a lot of work on the back end for this mental health project that I'm really hoping to launch um, January of next year. So like, you know, in about a month from now. Maybe not launch because we still have to develop the whole thing, but like really get the ball moving. When I say the ball moving, I mean like, you know, investors in, we've got developers going, we've got a team ready to kick this off. Like, that's what I mean. And that needs to happen, or at least I'd like to have it happen. Uh, January next month. That we gotta prioritize. We got PvP here, which we're trying to build a league for right now, which we'll talk about today as well. I guess I can talk about that a little bit right now as we grab this, just really quickly. There's a league forming for Pokemon Go PvP, and if you guys wanna be a part of that, there's a link in the description for the Silph Road, who is building a competitive league around PvP, that competitive scene that at least I want. And that's exciting because although there's not much depth in this, you know, tap and protect shield system with PvP. It's gonna be a lot more fun if there's like a competitive system. It's gonna give it more depth. We can do tournaments, we can do challenges, we can do 1v1s, we can do live streams. There's a lot of fun stuff to happen with the PvP system. A competitive PvP system, which is happening on the Silk Road. Link in the description. Shiny check on this guy. And the Sheiks will not sparkle. Also, claim reward. There's a stamp. As you can see, I have been horrible in the stamps. We still have those, <laughs> we still have those two quests because we still have the Meltan quest that we are nowhere closer on. We we, I just need to evolve a Drowsy. I, I don't want to evolve the shiny Drowsy. I want to catch a Drowsy. We'll find one eventually. It's not important. What is important is that raid in two minutes and we'll talk about more details. And later on in the video, we're actually gonna eat some ramen because we're here in Santa Monica. I need to stop by the Apple store because my phone case is destroyed and as are my AirPods. And we've got some video from Andrew Goldfarb and from another YouTuber as well, I think, that we're gonna showcase on the channel showing gameplay, actual real gameplay of PvP in Pokemon Go. But before that, Raid, Ramen, details, Apple. in on the Cresselia right now, battling this guy down, and now we've got some <laughs> fun facts about the PvP system that wasn't shared in the initial announcement for PvP, which really surprises me, because this is like relevant stuff. All of these little bits are from Andrew Goldfarb's IGN article, by the way, so I'll leave the link to that in the description. He also posted a video. Andrew, start a YouTube channel, man. Love the commentary. And then we have a bunch of other kind of points to throw in, but I want to throw that in once we have the gameplay later on, once we can sit down and kind of examine that. But for now, the rewards that you get from PvP, you can get three times per day when battling against someone, which as we saw yesterday or earlier today, that includes Stardust, other evolution items, and mainly Sinnoh Stones. Well, not mainly Sinnoh Stones, but you can get Sinnoh Stones from battling, and you have the possibility of doing it three times a day. And once you've done your three reward battles, I guess we'll call it, all battles after that still count towards your battle medals and your badges and stuff, so keep battling. Also, battling, PvPing does increase friendship once per day, just like trading and just like raiding. And remember, you can battle the team leaders. It's a way is to really train up your ace trainer badge because that's been kind of a funny meme in the community for the longest time. So you can bring the ace trainer badge up from battling the uh, team leaders. And also you can get rewards from them as well, daily rewards, but it's not three like PVPing. It's only one time per day. And this is just so that people can't farm Sinnoh stones and stuff like that in Stardust just by you know battling an AI system the entire day. So it's once a day. And I think you could still possibly get a Sinnoh stone, although I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot harder to get a Sinnoh stone from the team leaders than it is from actually PvPing, and that just makes sense. And actually a fun fact about the uh, the team leaders is that they should have the same exact party of Pokemon, the same exact three Pokemon for each league when you go in to battle them. Because when you battle them, you can choose which league you want to battle them at, and then every time you battle, let's say, Sparks. Sparks, great league team, will be the same every single time. So it kind of gives that nostalgic feel of battling gym leaders that have pretty much the same teams of Pokemon. And, you know, same thing in Let's Go. So that's a kind of a cool thing, you know? And that's, again, just some 
fun facts that I wanted to share and just some irrelevant information that Pokemon Go didn't officially share, so IGN shared it and now we're sharing it here. Also, there's uh, two blacklisted Pokemon, which means Pokemon that you cannot use in the PvP system. Shedinja, weirdly enough, along with Ditto, unfortunately enough, and that's probably just because Ditto's mechanics would have been so difficult to code into the PvP system, they were probably just like, nah fam. But everything else, including Mythicals, you can use for PvP, and uh, <laughs> there was actually one Pokemon that we have another meme in the community that we haven't seen in the game yet that was used in a PvP battle, and we'll show the footage of that again later on in the video when we can sit down and look at that. Cresselia down, fantastic, and then now since we're in Santa Monica, it's 1 o'clock p.m., I don't have pre-made meals because it's a busy week, it's time to grab some lunch, and you already know what we're getting. We got eggs! And a new setup too, new office setup. Uh, it's like like big big monitor, other monitor, laptop, TV. Kind of spiced it up a little bit, spruced it up. And then now that it's nighttime, we can sit down and talk about, and actually watch the gameplay and talk about some stuff that was not included in the initial Pokemon Go announcement regarding PvP. This first video, which is a actually live video example of a little bit of the PvP system, was tweeted out by Game with PK Go. Check him out on Twitter, and I'm pretty sure that IGN used some of this footage too, so I I don't know what happened. But here it is, as you can see, we've got the Great League right here, and then we get the little scroll. So this is actual real video of this Great League. There's Ultra League, and as you can see, I think there were two teams for Great League, and then there's Master League. Maybe there's just one team, but that's pretty cool. That's what that look like looks like in you know video, not screenshot, and like live action. And then um, moving on from here, yep, exiting out of that, going into the nearby. As you can see, we've got Blanche Candela Spark and then your uh, QR code right there. And then clicking that, you can go and scan someone else's QR code, and then it pops up with the league. You select the league, you select your battle team, and then you hop into a battle. Boom, right? Challenge Trainer 2 to Ultra League Battle, yes. You choose your party, and then you are waiting for them to accept, and uh, that's that. That was video number one. So that's just like basically going from checking out your teams, to challenging a player, to getting into a battle. Now we've got video two, also from Game of PK Go, showing the actual battle sequence, or a little bit of the battle video, which is pretty exciting. And here that is, we've got Togekiss versus Ampharos. As you can see, you're tapping, and then once you get your charge move, you have to charge it up, and it takes like, what was that, three seconds? You just kind of tap that tap charge, and then it sends that out. And while that's happening, the other player is warned and is able to use a protect shield. So we'll see that again, building up aerial ace, building up Dazzling Gleam, just kind of wait for that Dazzling Gleam, gonna hit Dazzling Gleam, charge that move up, and then that will be a, what, three, oh, actually, you know what, no, there's an attack incoming, you got three seconds, Ampharos gonna send that, you can only use two Protect Shields for the entire battle, it's not per Pokemon, it's for the entire battle, and that was that clip right there, but that was pretty important, because that shows exactly how that works, and we're gonna replay a little bit of the footage while I talk about it and go over some stuff. Again, while you're battling, once you reach one of your charge moves, it doesn't just automatically use it, you have to select the charge move, and then you charge it up by continuously tapping, it takes about three seconds, and then it full sends that charge move at your opponent, and at that same time, your opponent will get a, a notice, basically saying like, you know, they're about to use a charge move, do you wanna use a protect shield, you can decline it or accept it, you only get two protect shield per battle, and that is how PvPing works here in Pokemon Go. Now some informational mentions about how PvP works, you do not have to potion or revive any of your Pokemon after the battle is over. They, they die, they faint out, they get hurt, but they don't actually get damaged. So you don't have to soak up all your revives and, and potions and whatnot for PvPing. So that's great. Also, while you're battling, you can't use items. It's not like you can drop a potion or hyper potion on a Pokemon and bring it back up. Uh, you can't do that. There's no item usage during PvP. They might add that later for more strategy, but for right now, not a thing. Also, weather boost does not affect your Pokemon's performance in PvP like it would in raids or in gym battles. And you cannot swipe to dodge in PvP. The only way to not get hit by an attack or take reduced damage is by using a protect shield. And remember, protect shields only reduce the damage of the attack and you can only use two per battle. And then one more informational message, when you're going to power up a Pokemon now, it will show you like Pokemon Go, there will be like a, a, a CP summary of what the CP will be after you power up the Pokemon so that 
if you're powering Pokemon up to try to get to that 1500 or 2500 level, you know if you're gonna go past it because you can't power down a Pokemon so you can ruin a Pokemon's placement in a certain league by accidentally powering it up too much. So there's a system in there to show if you're gonna power it up over that mark. Now, let's check out some of the IGN video of some uh, cool stuff that was involved in their little trailer and their little playthrough. And over to the IGN video, really the only thing in the IGN video that's different from the clips that I just showed you is essentially the same footage, except there were some clips and some screen, not clips, but like screenshots of not gameplay, but like video footage of uh, basically some people using some unreleased Pokemon. Like I think Reggie Gigas, Garchomp was in there, uh, and I wanna say Smeargle as well. So coming soon, not really. That was just basically, what happened is that they got access to like every Pokemon ever in the build that they were playing, the test build, in order to test PvP so they could use Pokemon that weren't really released in Pokemon Go yet. I mean, we know these Pokemon are ready, right? Smeargle's been freaking, uh, should have been available. His generation has been available for a very long time, so he's obviously coded and ready to go. At least I'd hope so. But these are Pokemon that will be coming to Pokemon Go, but I mean, this this doesn't mean that they're coming soon, just know that, <laughs> but like, it was kind of cool seeing a teeny smidge, a uh, little, <coughs> A little bit of gameplay of these Pokemon uh, in Pokemon Go, especially in the PvP system, so that was kind of cool. Also, a notable mention, I don't know if I mentioned it, once the battle's over, you can like immediately send a rematch request uh, to the person you just battled, or you can just exit, so that's cool too. Another thing, I really like graphically how you throw out the Pokeball, and then your Pokemon pops out of it, and you can see your opponent do that, like they throw the Pokeball, that's really cool. Graphic design team, awesome job, or, or development team, Niantic, good job. And yeah, that's kind of an inside look into the gameplay of PvP here in Pokemon Go. Definitely some exciting stuff, definitely some cool little clips, cool little snippets, and uh, some fun stuff to come here for PvP. I'm honestly, again, I'm very excited. I'm very curious to see how it plays in your guys' hands, and I'm really, really excited to kind of kick off more competitive stuff when it comes to Pokemon Go PvP. Again, Silk Road is doing a big thing on that. The link for that is in the description. I want a league. I want a league for PvP and Pokemon Go, and I think this is a great start. Now, obviously, there's some issues with PvP that a lot of people are wondering, like, lag. If you have ever traded a Pokemon with someone before, you'll notice that sometimes, mo the majority of the time, someone's trade will happen quicker than the other. So when you're PvPing against someone, how is that going to work? Is someone with better connection going to perform better in battle? Are you going to need to be on Wi-Fi? Is there a LAN play mode like there is for other games? That's huge and that's going to hugely factor into PvP because if we do end up hosting competitions, we're going to need to know if we like need to set up a Wi-Fi network so that people don't lag. Uh, in order to participate, so that's kind of just gonna factor in. Hopefully there's like some sort of like LAN feature, but I'm assuming it's gonna be off of cellular, and it'll probably just kind of come down to who has better internet. Oh, I don't, I don't like saying that out loud. Let's hope it's not that system, but if it is, <laughs> we're gonna have to work with what we got. But yes, PvP and Pokemon Go, that's kind of all the information, the extra information that we had that wasn't shown in the official announcement. Again, I have no idea why they didn't show it in the official announcement, or didn't mention this stuff in the official announcement, because like, relevant information. Also a lot of influencers, mainly in I think France, got to go into uh, the Pokemon Go HQ over there and actually play PvP as well, and they were given some reviews on it too, which was pretty cool. So, looking forward to this thing dropping, looking forward to this event. I don't know when my next video will be. I might take like a five day break or a four day break. I don't wanna do it, but I'm gonna have to. So if you don't see a video on the channel for a couple of days, just know that I'm okay. We're working on the mental health project, and hopefully PvP will be out soon. But yes, guys, PvP hype in the comments. Let me know down below. Would you guys watch a competitive league, competitive system? Would you wanna be involved in one? And uh, get ready for PvP. I'm gonna take some NyQuil. I'll see you guys later. Peace.